Gladys George was an amazing actress from her time who really impressed people with her talent and acting skills. She had a special way of performing that made her stand out from other actors. The first time I saw her was in a really old movie and she made a big impression on me. Many people have memories and stories about this great actress. If you have any, feel free to share them in the comments below. Also, stay tuned to learn interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her life and career. Gladys George, a highly skilled actress, deserves acknowledgement for her significant contributions to the entertainment industry. She impressed audiences with her exceptional performances, leaving a lasting impact on the world of film. Born in 1904, she appeared in numerous movies over many years, displaying her talent in playing various characters. Her ability to adapt on screen fascinated viewers, and she became well known for her skill in portraying different roles, keeping audiences interested with her strong performances. Throughout her impressive career, she consistently showcased her remarkable talent, earning praise from critics and gaining the admiration of her colleagues. Her lasting impact on the film industry is still evident today, confirming her status as a notable figure in cinematic history. Gladys George portrayed Mrs. Roby and he ran all the way where she played John Garfield's mother. Despite only being 13 years older than Garfield, she convincingly depicted the character's hard luck experience. In Marie Antoinette, George took on the role of Emmy Du Barry, a vindictive courtesan. Despite her portrayal, George came from an admirable British family. Her parents were Shakespearean actors and her father was knighted for his government service. She was married three times, with her third marriage being to Leonard Penn, a fellow cast member. Later, she married a bellboy 20 years her junior, resulting in her fourth divorce. Her mother, Lady Clare, passed away in Hollywood at the age of 71. Gladys George portrayed Emmy, Du Barry and Marie Antoinette. She passed away due to a cerebral hemorrhage on the same day as the real Jean Baku, Comtesse Du Barry, who met her fate during the French Revolution's reign of terror. The Comtesse was guillotined less than two months after Marie Antoinette's execution. In the Roaring Twenties, Gladys George played Panama Smith, a role initially intended for Glenda Farrell. Before she landed the part, Anne Sheridan and Lee Patrick were also considered for it. Despite the age difference between her character and her on-screen son in the best years of our lives, Gladys George was only five years older than Dana Andrews, who portrayed him. Gladys George, known for her strong performances, made a lasting impression in movies with her memorable roles. In the 1930s, she played Me Doyle in the Roaring Twenties, saying, I've been rich and I've been poor. Believe me, rich is better. This showed her character's struggles and ambitions during tough times. In Valiant is the word for Carrie, she played Carrie Snyder, a caring character. Her emotional performance touched audiences, especially when she comforts a troubled youth, saying, you know, when you've got something to give, you can't be too careful because if you don't give it away, you've lost it. One of her most famous roles was Madame Dubarry in Marie Antoinette. She brought depth to the role of the legendary courtesan, showing her versatility as an actress. As Madame Dubarry, she said, to be alive is to suffer, capturing her character's difficult journey. In the hard way, she played Helen Chernin, a woman driven by ambition at any cost. Her powerful performance earned critical acclaim, especially when she confronts her sister, saying, you don't have to be a genius to get what you want, but it helps. Gladys George's ability to portray different characters with depth and authenticity made her a revered actress of her time. Her memorable roles still captivate audiences today, showing her lasting impact in movies. Gladys George, known for her roles in The Hard Way and The Maltese Falcon, showcased her talent and versatility in Hollywood. In The Hard Way, she portrayed Lily Emery, delivering a memorable performance alongside Roman Bonin. Later, in The Best Years of Our Lives, she played a pivotal role as part of a married couple, adding depth to the narrative. In The Maltese Falcon, she took on the character of Eva Archer, despite having limited dialogue and screen time. Despite these constraints, her presence left a lasting impression on the audience. Born to Sir Arthur Evans Clare, who earned his knighthood for his service in India with the British Army, she had a familial connection to distinguished service. Her father's unfortunate passing in Hollywood following an automobile accident marked a somber moment in her life. Through her roles and familial background, she left a lasting impression on the silver screen that still connects with audiences today. Gladys George, known for her throaty, heart-tugging voice likened to a mixture of gin and tears, portrayed Miss Hatch in Detective Story. 
Director William Wyler collaborated with her and Kathy O'Donnell five years earlier on The Best Years of Our Lives, where Kathy played Wilma and Gladys portrayed his stents. Her biography and actresses of a certain character 40 familiar Hollywood faces from the 30s to the 50s by Axel Nissen sheds light on her career. Throughout her time in Hollywood, she left an impression with her distinct voice and memorable performances. Gladys George, a renowned actress of her era, had an unexpected tie to a tragic event. She played a memorable role in the life of John Dillinger, the infamous American gangster. Dillinger, while evading the authorities, sought refuge in a movie theater where one of her films was playing. This eerie coincidence connects the actress to a dark chapter in American history, showing the unpredictable intersections of celebrity and infamy. Her career was marked by an ability to bring depth and emotion to roles. She excelled at portraying characters with authenticity, earning respect from audiences and peers alike. Her dedication to acting and her willingness to take on challenging roles left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Despite the tragic circumstances tied to John Dillinger, Gladys George's contribution to cinema remains a significant part of her story. Her talent and versatility continue to inspire actors and audiences today. Gladys George struggled with alcoholism for much of her life, which affected her health. Despite these challenges, she had a successful career in acting playing many different roles with skill and authenticity. Her performances earned her respect from both her peers and audiences. Despite facing personal difficulties, she remained dedicated to her work, inspiring others with her determination and talent. In summary, Gladys George's life had its ups and downs, but she became a respected actress, leaving behind a body of work that is still admired today. Her impact continues to be felt, reminding us of the importance of perseverance and passion in tough times. Gladys George, known for her captivating performances on screen, kept a sorrowful secret throughout her life. Despite success in the entertainment industry, she struggled with alcoholism, which ultimately led to her early death. This sad part of her life cast a dark cloud over her otherwise impressive career. Celebrated for her roles in classic films like The Maltese Falcon and The Roaring Twenties, she faced personal challenges behind the scenes. Her battle with alcohol addiction, though mostly hidden from the public, surely affected both her professional and personal life. Despite her talent and impact on cinema, her story serves as a poignant reminder of the harm addiction can cause, even to the most successful individuals. Her tragic struggle with alcoholism remains a sobering reality amidst her otherwise notable legacy.